Mel, a frustrating afternoon. What's your initial thoughts on that result? Yeah, I think we'll be disappointed by the chances that we conceded in the first half because they really only had two looks on goal and we had some opportunities to to potentially uh, go down the score sheet through set pieces. Um, I made changes in the second half and it just left us a little bit too open in transition and ultimately that defined the second half with the two that we conceded there. Um, so yeah, we'll be disappointed by it, but ultimately we've had such a, a positive block of game, so we're going to have to take things away from this. It will humble us and um, ultimately have a short-term memory with it so we come back fresh into the next set of games. What do you think happened? Did the mood drop a wee bit? Because in the early moments of the first half, it really seemed like we dominated the game and had the most chances. Look, goals change games. And I think we'll be disappointed to concede on a set piece and not get one of our own on the other side because, yeah, we were all over the goal uh, in the first 20, 25 minutes or so. Um, and, yeah, goals change games ultimately. So I think to, to concede the second so close going into halftime, it sucked the wind out of our sails. There certainly wasn't a lack of belief at halftime or that we couldn't come out and change the game for the positive. But um, ultimately, the game went the way it did. As you said, not dwell on it too much there's a lot of positives we can take from it flares of passion and positivity and you can really see the the squad continuing to gel yeah like i said i think this is going to be one that we're going to have to move on from um we're disappointed that it is an international break so we can't come together and um learn from it over the next couple of weeks but we'll pick ourselves up we'll be ready to compete and go again in the next two fixtures to close out the year and as well like you said tough block coming to an end, a lot of positive to take from that. What's your international break going to look like? Yeah, I think we're, we're really proud of how we played in the block and, and some of the performances that we put in and like we said, not, not a finer day today, but uh, we'll move forward from that. International break for the ones that we have in house is always a, a good time to reflect and work on some real individual development areas um, and then we'll have a tight turnaround to prepare for Leicester when we bring everyone back in from the break.